New businesses and opportunities could soon make their way to South Jackson thanks to one innovator. 12 News, Tia McKenzie introduces us to an artist with big plans. What used to be a staple in the metro area is now on the brink of a rebirth with a whole new twist. It's lights, camera, action for Curtis Nichols. His goal is to transform the old dealer's facility at the Metro Mall into a film studio. What that would do for the community, it, I, I can't even put really into words what it would do for the community. Despite its at times controversial reputation, Nichols says Mississippi is the perfect place for creatives. He envisions a new South Jackson with flourishing businesses full of employment opportunities. Of course, a lot of people talk about the poverty but poverty creates creativity. You have to be creative to figure out things that um, money can't handle. In a 6-0 to zero vote by the City Council of Jackson, the old Dillard's building was sold to Nichols for $360,000. So the city's not going to have any interest any longer in the Metro Center? No. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nichols believes that investing in the youth as well as other underserved groups such as veterans makes the difference. I've been training kids at, um, at Jim Hill High School. I've been training uh, students at Jackson State, uh, working with different people across uh, Mississippi. And now it's time to up that training to another level. Renovations have already begun on the 172 square foot facility with plans to expand throughout the building. Reporting in South Jackson, Tia McKenzie, 12 News.